<laughs> Namaste, everyone. My name is Greg Prescott from in5d.com, and welcome to another episode of Facebook Live. And I've got a lot of things I want to talk about today. Um, geez, initially it was just going to be about the wave, but so much has been coming up that there's a lot to cover. So, um, uh, may as well just jump right into it. Just going to say hi to Max. Rochelle, Robin, Maria, Linda, Charlotte, Elissa, Katie, Antonio, Candice, Clark, Robert Fry, Joey, Co Joy Cooper, Willett, Lori Jennings, Amy Zillis. Hello to everybody. Um, so glad. I'm seeing little sad faces popping up. Why? Why? Who's putting the sad faces up there? And why are you sad? <laughs> Anyway, and thank you for all the little hearts and the thumbs up and everything. I love them. Um, just grateful that everybody could be here on, um, once again, short notice, as I often do. Um, but this, this is what I do. I just basically come on whenever spirit guides me to, to be here and whenever there's something important to talk about. So here we are. Okay, so, um, well, first thing, you know, we have here in the United States, we have July 4th coming up. So, uh, you know, a lot of people may be on vacation, which is good. And I know that our neighbors in Canada just had Canada Day on July 1st. So hopefully, you know, with this time off, it's going to help you assimilate to the wave, this huge wave that's going on. And I'll get to that but there is this huge wave and we're gonna have a better understanding of why this is happening and why you're feeling the way you feel. So hi to everyone that's just joining me right now. Hello to everyone on YouTube that's watching the recorded version of this as well. And to all my Patreon people. So, um, just uh, some recent updates, news, stuff like that. Um, I'm loving all the little hearts popping up here. There's that little sad, smiley, sad smiley face and one angry face who I think I have blocked. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, uh, Candace Craw Goldman um, has a course for Beyond Quiet Quantum Healing, BQH, and I am signed up for it. I'm, I'm in it. So what I'll be doing is I'll be putting a link on N5D if you want to get into that. You know, it's it's the, like the next phase beyond. Um, I don't know if I should say it. <laughs> I don't want anybody from that company. Basically, the work kind of related to Dolores Cannon. We'll put it that way. But it's not it's not that particular thing. But anyway. I think Candace did a wonderful job. I was on her website earlier today checking it out, and uh, I'm looking forward to jumping in on that. So, yeah, I'll be putting a, a link on N5D if you're interested in um, becoming a Beyond Quantum Healing uh, person. So uh, that's really exciting. Another thing is I was watching, you know, one of, one of the things I enjoy doing is watching and checking out my YouTube subscriptions because to me that's more exciting than watching anything on TV. So I was checking that out and uh, I saw that Allison Co. had a new video on today. So I checked that out. And um, what was interesting is we have, take it for what it's worth, 
and just like Allison, I'm just relaying on this message, but um, she was given a date by the uh, by December for this event to happen. Um, she was going on to say that some of the most important things through this client um, right now are would be to work on yourself. That's that's huge, and we're all trying to work on ourselves as much as we can. And uh, yeah, it it's, it takes a lot of going within, grounding. It's all the things that I've been talking about that my spirit guides have been um, asking me to tell you guys. You know, to love, to forgive, to express gratitude, to maintain a high vibration, and to ground. You know, those five things. And basically, the, you know, once again, we're hearing this stuff being reiterated through other people. So the importance of that is just, it's almost universal. You know, it's a message that it's not just going through me and my guides and my posse, but from other people as well. Um, she said that for, it's important for us to um, get out of the mind, to stop thinking and worrying about other people, to surrender and trust your inner guidance uh, to hear, which means to hear, see, and feel you know, all those things that you're getting from the universe, you know, you're getting cues and clues every day. So um, make sure that uh, you're paying attention to what you're getting. And if you haven't shared this video, let's get it uh, shared, put it out there, um, share it with your friends, because I'll, I'll be getting into the, the wave here. And after I cover this uh, stuff beforehand. But let's see. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, it's important that you um, do listen to that inner guidance to continue working on yourself to maintain those five things that um, I've, I've been asking. You know, my, my guides have been telling me to share with you guys, and I've been asking you guys to share as well. So be sure that you're putting that stuff out there. Um, now, one of the things that I found really interesting was she connected to this part of herself that's already there, and apparently, and, and it's not necessarily on Earth, but it was on Mount Shasta. I know it sounds confusing, but it was actually underneath Mount Shasta with the, the blue beings that are there. Um, but she said that she's already able to connect to that being um, while here in the third dimension, connecting with that higher fifth dimensional being who's helping her to heal. And she said it's already happening now. So you're able to do that. You know, if you can, through meditation, connect to that higher ver higher self version of yourself, it's going to be um, it's it, the things that you'll be able to come up with and see and understand and do could be absolutely incredible. So while you're meditating, put it out there so that you make that connection. Ask your higher self, uh, give your higher self permission or give that being that's there already in the fifth dimension that permission to access yourself. Um, so, but yeah, trust, surrender, and gratitude were three of the things that were really big, you know, to, to trust your intuition, to surrender to the universe, to, to know that when you're falling back, the universe is there to catch you, okay? And to, of course, express gratitude. Gratitude is one of the highest vibrational things you can do, you know, below love. So, you know, and that's why I always do my, you know, daily walk of gratitude. Um, it, it just feels really good and it feels really right. Um, so, so she's encouraging people to um, access that part of yourself that's already there and to work with that energy that's already existent. So the energy's there. It's just a matter of us tapping into it right now. Uh, just a quick reminder too, you know, because in 5D is being shadow banned, like many of your websites are on Facebook, be sure that you subscribe to our either daily or weekly newsletter, and that way you won't miss any updates, okay? And you can find that on in5d.com. If you're on a laptop, it'll be in the upper right-hand corner of every web page. 
or if you're on a if you're on a cell phone, just scroll down to the ends ends of the articles, and there will be some ads there. But uh, right below that, you'll find the subscriptions there too. Okay, next thing I want to talk about is weight gain. <laughs> a lot of us have been going through that, and on June seventh, I decided I'm going to try something. So I bought, I did some research. And I bought, it's called Garcinia Cambrosia. And basically it's some kind, I don't know what kind, but it's some kind of fruit rind that's in a capsule form. And I take three capsules in the morning along with silica uh, and then wait an hour before I eat. And then I take three more in the evening along with another silica and wait another hour before I eat. And uh, since I've started, I've lost, I believe, 16 pounds. Um, let me check real quick. So I've got this uh, weight guru scale, and there's an app on it. Yeah, so right there. I, uh, I don't know if you can see it. There. It's got it so right there. It is. So it says uh, 16 pounds in the month, um, 3.8 this week. The overall. That's, I don't even look at that number because that number was actually when I first started three years ago when I was weighing like 205 or something like that. So the overall number I'm not terribly worried about, but even that's down since I initially started. <clears throat> so what I've been doing is I eliminated sugar, dairy, pasta, and bread basically from my diet. Now, occasionally I have been buying, I bought some uh, organic bread. I think that the wheat, the, the the belly, the you know the belly that a lot of us end up getting, especially as we get older. I think that's from the GMO wheat, and uh, you know if you look at people who are from Italy, you know if you actually go to Italy, they're skinny, and they eat a ton of pasta and a lot of bread, and uh, they don't have that beer belly, and gluten belly, whatever you want to call it. Actually. Beer is the same ingredients as bread, exactly the same, except it's fermented and distilled and whatever. But, um, you know, so that's why we have this gluten slash beer belly is from, in my opinion, the GMO wheat. So, you know, if you're going to have any pasta or bread, make sure it's organic, okay? But even keep that to a minimal, too, because... You know, it's just carbs, and the carbs turn into sugar. The sh sugar turns into fat. So, yeah. So what I'm basically doing, though, I'm, I'm kind of on an Atkins diet. And I know the vegetarians will hate me for it. You know, all I can say is just try to be the best you that you can be today, and I'll worry about me, okay? But I start out with eggs, three hard-boiled eggs for breakfast. Then um, – I can have like a burger or some tuna or something like that for lunch and maybe some uh, chicken for dinner. And that's all along with the, um, the Garcinia Cambrosia and the Silica. I'm also washing that down with two tables, uh, two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar and uh, about a third of a teaspoon of baking soda. And I put that, in the uh, in the glass, and I wash it down. The apple cider vinegar is horrible, but today I just got apple cider vinegar capsules, and they also have these other things that are really good for you. So I'm going to be taking the capsules <laughs> instead of the straight vinegar. So it's just a couple more capsules to take in the morning, and uh, I'm really looking forward to that. Instead of having to taste that nasty apple cider vinegar, God, it's freaking nasty to taste. But it's so wonderful for you. There's so many benefits of having the apple cider vinegar. And as a matter of fact, I think it was yesterday that I posted an article on both N5D and um, the Body, Mind, Soul, Spirit Facebook page of an article that I have on Body, Mind, Soul, Spirit of all the benefits of apple cider vinegar. So it's a wonderful thing to have. Okay. So, yeah. Um, actually, I'm documenting this, too. Um, <laughs> I was hesitant to show this, but I'll show you. All right, so that that's that's gluten belly right there. <laughs> that's that's wheat belly, and that that was June sixth, and that was maybe I don't know a 
couple weeks ago, and this was earlier today. So it hasn't even been a full month yet, and I'm seeing results, 16 pounds lost. Um, so I expect to be close to 20 pounds by the time the month is up in one month. I'm pretty happy with that. So hopefully in two months I'll be at my target weight of about, I don't know, 180, 185, something like that. So maybe in the 170s, who knows. But it's coming off relatively easy, and uh, I'm not starving myself. I do walk. Uh, I try to walk twice a day. Of course, I do my walk with gratitude, and then I get out and do another walk in the evening. I try to get out in the morning, and then in the evening, plus it's good for the grounding. Um, but outside of that, it's like I'm not doing anything over extraneous. <laughs> So another thing I want to talk about, because I saw a comment, um, and I've got my other computer going on over here, and it was from Sherry Ives, and let me just peek at it. She, she said that she felt very faint and out of her body, um, and I, I noticed that too. Um, there's times where, you know, if I'm squatting down, just stretching out my back or whatever, and I stand up too quickly, I'll get dizzy. Are any of you guys getting those kind of like lightheadedness, dizzy, dizziness, vertigo kind of things? Are you guys feeling that? So I, 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 I do. <laughs> and, you know, maybe it is my blood sugar. Maybe it's part of my diet. Um, but maybe it's something more than that because other people are experiencing that. So, um, what else? Oh, the leaky ear thing. You know, I, I've been noticing that people are still experiencing the leaky ear. What I find interesting about that, you know, because, you know, I still have it, kind of, I guess. I know at night I do. But when I go to the beach, it's gone. My ear is as dry as cotton when I'm at the beach, when I'm outside. But when I come indoors, that's when I get it. And I don't know if it's more humid inside or maybe it's the lack of humidity. Maybe it's the EMFs from, you know, all the wireless crap that's going on around us. But it seems like the further away I am from the EMFs, the drier my ears are. So maybe there is a correlation there. Jim Brady from New York, upstate New York. Hey, Jim. Glad you could join us. Hi, Cam, Mary, Sean, Patricia. Welcome, everyone, who joined in a little late. We haven't gotten to the big wave yet. but um, So, yeah, so what I've been talking about the, the leaky ear thing, which a lot of us have been going through. And uh, I recently just got this. This is pretty cool. And this is the Edgar Casey Cures um, Violet Ray high frequency device that let me see. Oh, you gotta love Edgar Casey and this is what it looks like there's different attachments that come on here there's a comb one that you know if you're losing your hair you can run it over your scalp and it re-energizes your scalp and apparently grows hair back but I don't I don't can you see the the purple in that light up it's it's on right now I'll shut it off. Let's get the bl black in the background here. I don't know if there's too much light. Okay, I'll turn it on. There it goes. You can see it coming on. And what I'll do, I'm, I'm experimenting on my ears with this. Um, so what I do is I put it around my ears like that. You can even put it right on top. Well, what happens is, we'll see if we, you guys can see this. See that little purple ray coming off? If you just do like that to yourself, it feels like a very, very, very tiny needle. It doesn't hurt at all. But if you put it directly on your skin like that, you don't even feel that prick. But you just, I've been going like this around my ears to see if this is going to help the leaky ear. So it also works on your circulation. So um, when I when I got over my sciatica, um, 
on my left hand side, I had this numb feeling going down my left leg. And so what I'm doing is working on the circulation on my leg and it's going all the way down to the toe and working up that sciatica, sciatica nerve that goes all the way down to the toe and just tracing that all the way up into my back and then getting my back as well. Now they say that you can only use this thing for 10 minutes at a time, which is fine. And then you have to let it rest for 10 minutes and then you can turn it on for another 10 minutes. So I was guided to buy this, not for what I just told you about, but for something more. And you can even, you know, if you're having like a lot of blurry stuff going on, this is what I'm doing. I'm I mean, even running it over my eyes like that with my eyes closed, of course. No pain. You don't feel anything. And you already saw that, what's coming out of that. It's pretty cool. But it doesn't hurt at all. You can do it, I guess, anywhere you wanted to. <laughs> but they, they say it's good for, like, crow's feet. You know, or wrinkles, you know, you got those little wrinkle lines going on. There's so many benefits of it, and it came with a book. And you can research a little bit more of this online. But I had a feeling that the reason I had to buy it was for some reason that hasn't been documented yet. There's something, maybe it has something to do with our RNA or DNA or something like that. There's something I need to get down to with this thing. So I'm going to be experimenting with it. Once again, using myself as a guinea pig, like I often do on my DNA experiments, which I'm still conducting. Okay, so that gets us caught up to this. Okay. So today, let me get some more water. And yeah, you know what I'm drinking. This stuff is the best water on the planet. Enough said. We'll talk about the wave in one minute. <sighs> Yummy. Yum, yum, yum. So, last night I go to bed. It's probably 11 o'clock or so, I think, is when I laid down to go to bed. I got a full night's sleep. Woke up, I don't know, maybe 7 or so. I guess. I don't know. I didn't really notice what time I woke up, but it was early, but after a full night's sleep. So there's no reason for me to be tired, right? Or so one would think. Within the hour, I started getting tired. You know, I took my apple cider vinegar mixture with the Garcinia Cambrosia and the Silica and I had that. And I was just like sitting around waiting for the hour to pass so I could have my hard boiled eggs. But I was just so tired. And I didn't know why. And I forced myself to stay up until, I think it was 9 a.m. And then I went and took a nap. And that, that's why it's it's cool that this wave is going on right now while a lot of people are on vacation and have the opportunity to at least, <laughs> you know, listen to their body. You know, when, when your body's telling you to sleep, you should probably sleep, you know. But a lot of people are at work. And they're not able to when these waves are coming through. And that doesn't mean that just because you didn't sleep and you felt the wave come through, you're not missing out on anything. You're still getting the upgrade. Don't worry about that. But uh, that's one less thing you have to worry about. You're still getting it. Everyone gets it regardless. Okay. But uh, it, having that opportunity right now, you know, at least I, I, I think, I don't know if the people in Canada are still on vacation, but, you know, we have July 4th coming up here in two days coming right up and a lot of people are on vacation and have that opportunity to take a nap so here it is like nine o'clock and I'm like screw it I gotta lay down and I fell asleep immediately slept for two hours additional hours didn't know why but of course I kind of knew because every time these things happen there's a correlation this happens and speaking of which this completely explains what happened so this spike occurred actually yesterday in Russia, but it was today. It was late last night in Russia when it happened. Now, in this particular area of Russia, they're 11 hours ahead of us. So if you move the time scale up 11 hours, so in Russia, that's when it happened. 
but our time scale for that would be in at least in Eastern time. That's where I'm in, where I'm at in Florida on Eastern time. That time scale is between seven and nine a.m. Eastern time this morning. So if you're wondering why you were feeling tired and exhausted, even though you might have gotten a great night's sleep the, early this morning, that's why. I can guarantee you every time when these waves come through, I know because it's always lining up with these or sometimes this, you know, it's unmistakable. Um, so even though the actual Schumann resonance isn't, you know, 16 or whatever, you know, some people have been saying it's going as high as, you know, I, I, I don't think it's, it, it matters. I don't think that number matters at all. What, what really matters are the whiteouts that we're seeing. And these are where, where we're getting the upgrades. So, you know, if you are at work, you're still getting them. Don't worry about that. Um, Katie is saying, hi, from New York City. I also dealt with extreme dizziness and light weakness. Maybe our body retained. Oh, I just lost it. Shoot. I'm so far behind again. <laughs> Once again, I'm always behind. Um, Auntie Bauman's asking what my opinion is on distilled water. I tried that once, and uh, I think it actually leaches the uh, minerals from your body. I know some people swear by it. I tried it, and it felt like I was my hair was falling out when I was when I was doing that, and just because of that. That's why I quit. So what I do is now I, I drink alkaline water and try to get the highest pH that you can find. Um, so this is basically just spring water with high pH. So you can find all sorts of wonderful, but this is the best one in my opinion. Alkalife 10, 10 pH, hands down the best water, best tasting water. And here in Florida, we have a a supermarket, you know, like Kroger and AMP and Winn Dixie and whatever else, but it's called Publix, P U B L I X, and they have them on sale. So, and it's not cheap, but they have them on sale two six packs of these for ten dollars. So five dollars a six pack. Probably what's that work out like seventy five cents a bottle, but it's worth every penny of it. And they also sell it in gallons there too. So, so if you can find it in the gallons, you might save a, um, a little money too. So yeah, that's my opinion of distilled water. It works for some people. It probably works for a lot of people. I just felt like it was leaching the minerals from my body I, and I, I wasn't comfortable with that. So, okay. <laughs> and there's Shelly asking right after that, why is that the water that water, the best water in the world. Well, it has the best taste. It almost tastes a little sweet, but it's not sweet. There's nothing in it. It's just pure spring water. And I feel like I'm doing an advertisement for Alkalife, but I'm not. I, I'm, I don't get paid by these people. I have no affiliation with Alkalife. I just love this water. And once you taste it, you'll agree. I guarantee it. That alone should give me an endorsement by them. <laughs> but I don't do that for that. I do that because it is delicious. It's the best water ever. Try it and you'll agree, hands down. I mean, I've tried other um, 10 pH waters. This is the best. Got to try it. Okay. So, yeah, I got other people saying that they were exhausted and uh, 111. Yeah, a lot of uh, synchronistic. No, uh, numbers popping up going on right now. You know what I've been seeing a lot is 144, you know, um, so maybe this is just another clue. You know, obviously, you know, you think the first thing you think is 144,000 or who knows what it might be relating to. It also adds up to nine, which is my life path number. So it's a beautiful number either way. Uh, Jenny is saying that she's seeing all kinds of things. I'd be curious to know specifically Jenny Calogero. Calogero <laughs> I think is that how you pronounce your name? I'd be curious what you're seeing. And Jennifer Moore is saying that she has ear drainage. What this could be 
in conjunction with all this stuff and it might be on individual levels too is the body turning to crystalline body uh, you know it could relate to the ear leakage or whatever symptoms you might personally be having and once again i highly encourage people to journalize everything to put that out there to talk about it don't be ashamed to write this stuff on your facebook page like i do don't be ashamed or afraid to share this video right now. <laughs> Get the word out there because the more that people are at least aware and talking, the more that we all end up um, culminating our thoughts and intentions into the same end result, which is amazing. Obviously, it's the, the wave, the white flash of light that floods the planet. So that's, you know, some people call it the event, call it whatever you want. We're bringing it to us and we're manifesting that. And to me, it's we're, we're on this cosmic hourglass. Grains of sand are falling down. Not many grains of sand left. We all sense it. We all feel it. Okay. Just looking at some of the comments here. See if there's anything that I missed. It's okay that you're late, Natalie. Um, I'll be posting this on YouTube as well for the people that um, aren't able to watch the beginning of this. Uh, Adi, A-D-I, Adi, Adi, Mayai, Mayai, M-A-Y-I. I get the hardest names to pronounce when I get asked questions. Why can't I get like a, you know, Fred Smith? <laughs> I'm going to say Adi, Mayai, Mayai, Adi, Mayai. Would this wave be why the middle of my forehead is randomly pulsating? I'd say, yeah. Of course, the middle of your forehead would be the area of where your pineal gland is. So, um, heck, maybe the, your pineal gland is getting decalcified right now. That's a good thing. Hopefully it's not just, yeah, and that's what Amber was saying. That's your pineal gland, third eye. Yep. And there's Candace. Hey, Candace, I put a plug in for you and your awesome website. So um, thank you for bringing me aboard on Beyond Quantum Healing. And uh, um, what I'll need you to do, Candace, if you can, is make a uh, an ad for me to put on in 5D so I can share it with all of our listeners. So get in touch with me about that. Okay. Candace Crow Goldman, you all, you guys all know her. She does. She did the uh, QHHT, and now she's got her own thing going. I was talking about her earlier, and I'm, I'm sure you've seen many of her videos here on N5D or on the N5D YouTube channel. She's an awesome person. I love Candace. So Kathy is saying, Kathy Risling, today I saw the moon and sun above my head at the same time. That's really cool. Okay. And Amber Jean Lund Simpson says the top of my head has been tingling too. It feels like a feels like a bug is in my hair. <laughs> I know that when I, I've gone out and meditated on the beach, oftentimes I'll walk down in one direction and I'll just stop and I'll meditate in an area where no nobody's around. And uh, I'll get that too, just that crown chakra tingling effect. And it just, it's a wonderful feeling. And I take that feeling with me on my way back. And of course I, I do my um, gratitude when I stop. And before I meditate, and then I do my love bubble meditation where I bring my posse, my spirit, uh, creator, source, universe, spirit guides, guardian angels, friends and family on both sides of the veil, galactic neighbors and friends, higher self, mother earth with me, with that feeling that I got from the crown chakra. And we're, we're magnifying our loving, healing energy from our heart center and spreading it out as far as we can across the planet, galaxy, universe, multiverse, and omniverse. And everybody's getting that kind of loving feeling with everybody I come in contact with on the beach. 
And these are things that we can do as light workers to share that love without nobody having to really know about it except for us. It's our little secret. Okay. So BQH beyond quantum healing. Yes, Candace. Love it. So Alexandra Kohler is saying that her legs and feet had been vibrating and still is getting ringing in the ears. I, you know, gosh, I think originally I had wrote an article. Do you hear high pitched frequencies? I think I originally wrote that back in 2009 or so. And I've reposted it several times on in 5D, but they're still there. Uh, it, you know, it's nine years later, it's not tinnitus, it's not, you know, it's not a vitamin deficiency. Um, I think it's a recalibration pitched frequency that um, helps us to um, get to where we need to do. It's basically working on our DNA. So what I would do sometimes, I would get my guitar out. And uh, I'd hear the pitch like right now. I'm trying to. So that's what I'm hearing right now is a C sharp out of my right ear. And I can figure out where it is on the guitar. Um, and if you know the notes on the guitar, that's a C. So it's, but what I'm hearing is, so it's the next octave up. So if that's a C right here, it's in between the C and the D. I'm hearing that, that note right there. So it's not a C, it's not a D. But it's much higher. It's, it sounds much higher than this, uh, what you're hearing right now. Much, much, much higher. Many, many octaves higher. But it's cool if you're musically inclined, if you have any kind of instrument, um, you can actually put that high-pitched frequency to an actual note on the scale. That's pretty cool. So what else do we have here? This is cool from Chrissy Johnson. This is New Earth Now. I have been seeing wildflowers everywhere and I've never seen that I've never seen before. Different birds and bird songs, new trees, the most majestic skies. That's very cool. The blissful energy is so amazing. Very cool. Thank you for sharing. And here's another one talking about their feet. Interesting. Something going on with the feet. Um, Stacy Guy Priest is saying, oh my God, my feet have been killing me. So it's not just me. Yeah, um, be sure you're getting out and grounding barefooted. <laughs> Unless you're on the other side of the planet, other half of the hemisphere rather, um, where it's winter. Now you're kind of screwed right now, <laughs> but uh, still try to get out anytime that you can and ground. Grounding is huge right now. Rosie Lilland Abraham, I've heard strange musical sounds coming from within the earth. Has anyone else experienced this? That's exciting. I haven't heard that coming from the inside of the earth, but sometimes just like music will come to me out of the blue that I've never heard before. I don't think it's coming from inside the earth, but being a musician, I never questioned that. I know, you know, one song I, I wrote while I was, um, watching a basketball game and they were given a, pr a promo for the New York Knicks. And I heard this drum beat. I just put a guitar riff to it and I made up a song within like five minutes. And that was basically drawn out of the aether and uh, just came to fruition really quick. That's cool about hearing music from the inner earth. Ala Delo. Uh, I have been hearing music or notes as well. That's really cool. More confirmation.
Jackie's saying butterflies all over the garden playing with each other and landing on us as well. That's really cool. We haven't seen this for years. Love the butterflies. Okay, seeing if I missed anything here. I know I missed a lot. And I'll come back and do a uh, another video, a follow-up video as I often do. Okay, I'm all caught up. Well, I don't think there's anything more I have to say, but that wave, you know, this, whenever you're feeling like the wave is going through, be sure you check out that Russian website. I will put a link in um, this video right now, or if you're watching on YouTube, I'll put the link uh, in the more info section of the Russian website. Of course, I can't paste it. Actually, no, I can't. Every time you paste it on Facebook, um, I think it's a banned link. They don't, they won't even let you share this link. Isn't that crazy? But what I'll do, at least here on Facebook, um, what I'll do is I'll, I'll put you to a link on N5D that has a link that goes to it. It's on the news page. And all you got to do is just go to N5D anyway. Just click on where it just says, not New Earth News, just News. And you'll see the link for the uh, Schumann Resonance right there. And that'll open up in a, in a new window. So, uh, you know, then you can bookmark it from there. But uh, whenever you're feeling these energies coming through, this is what's happening. And it, this is your confirmation. And I guarantee you're going to be feeling a lot of these more and more. And what we're going to be seeing are these coming more in succession, too, with larger whiteouts and more in between. So um, I think I'm going to leave it off at that. Um, it's gone on for almost 45 minutes. Wow. I didn't expect it to be this long. Anyway, um, uh, I just want to follow up once again with, um, you know, what my guides and universe creator source, everyone's been telling me is to number one, love. That's huge. Be sure you, you love, put the love out there. Um, number two, gratitude. It's, it's one of the highest vibrational things you can do is to express gratitude. The universe loves gratitude. Um, and it's, it's showing your appreciation to the beautiful things in life, even to the things that may not seem so beautiful at the moment. They're always a blessing. So show the gratitude um, out there. Um, put that out there. Uh, forgiveness is another one to forgive is huge because it clears the karma and when you're forgiving other people be sure to forgive yourself okay number four is to maintain a high vibration and basically if you you know do all these things that i'm telling you about that will give you the high vibration um but that'll also ward off negative entities parasitic attacks and all sorts of stuff our contact attacks. Um, so keep that high vibration. And number five is grounding. Get out there and ground. Make that connection with Mother Earth. Um, you know, I was just, I was just on the phone with a friend of mine, Cody. And uh, shout out to Cody. I, um, I know you're watching right now. And I was mentioning, um, if you don't have access to any kind of being outside or say you work long days, you come home, you eat and you just want to go to bed, get some kind of dark stone like obsidian or shungai or some kind of dark stone that you can ground with. And it's okay if you meditate in your bed, however you want to do it, but make that connection through the stone. At least you're doing some kind of grounding with a positive stone that can bring you that kind of effect that you would have as if you were to go out in, the, in nature. So it is actually part of nature that you're bringing into your house. So um, that's one simple way of doing that. And uh, as I mentioned, you know, if you're not subscribed to our emails, come on to N5D and subscribe and uh, you won't miss a thing. There's a lot of big things that are going to be coming up and uh, just stay tuned. And if you're not seeing, I post every day on Facebook every day. I, I post numerous things and Chances are they're not coming on your wall. So make sure you, you check out, just physically come to either my page or the N5B Facebook page or Body, Mind, Soul, Spirit Facebook page 
and you won't miss anything either. So that's about it for now. So I'm going to send you all infinite love and light. Namaste to everyone. And until the next time, be safe, be well. Sending you all lots of love.